This is the uh, Weinsberg excursion van. It may look as though it were built by some uh, small manufacturer in East Anglia in the United Kingdom in 1983, but in fact it comes from a mainline manufacturer, which is uh, Knaus, so Weinsberg's their cheap uh, brand. Or, uh, and as you can see, it's on a VW bully as a base. Very unusual vehicle from uh, a manufacturer like this. Let's have a quick uh, look at some of the details. So, well, the worst thing is there, 85,268 euros. Technical bits are here. Technical bits are here. Oh, it's working good. 588 long, 216 wide and two meters wide inside height 291 okay so it has 314 kilos of um, payload because it'll be on 3200 kilo basis right so it doesn't really have a huge amount there of um uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 gross vehicle weight. It's not on a three and a half ton basis. But then again, it is, it is quite a small vehicle. Uh, this thing here, I believe, can shake sleep four. You've got 3,200. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, well, uh, so bed comes out like this, and we're not in use. It, but this is, I must point out, is an option. And uh, there you go, it's slatted bed, it's got a net to stop you falling out. And uh, under it, so I like to keep leave the bed, that's what you've got, a, a, t a large table, uh, two uh, benches either side. It does look like some of these tiny home motorhomes. There's a company in the UK that makes things that look a bit like this. I called it a Wendy house, which is a toy which is used, I don't know if it's still done, but when, when I was a child, it was a sort of toy for, for young ladies, uh, little girls, who uh, to, to play in. And uh, so I thought it looked like that. And uh, so you've got plenty of seating space, but what about the other space? Well, there's one thing I think is utterly essential, and that's this. You must have, uh, I think, one should have one a toilet and uh, below this we have the shower a shower with two plug holes in it two drainage holes now you don't there's some big motor homes that only have one drainage hole so i mean something tiny like this and find space for two uh, drainage holes even if they're these small ones is pretty good and it also has this feature to make your shower a bit bigger and there they've got a proper drainage hole as well for the water that falls up here you have a proper drainage hole but where you really need a l large drainage hole let's say down there it hasn't got one and uh, so you have to do that if you want to use that for the shower but if you uh, if you want to save you want to save water which i think is a pretty good idea in a vehicle uh, then you could just pull this thing out here and give yourself a wash down with this anyway let's put this back carefully it is a just it is a Weinsberg it might fall in bits in my hand it's a, a Dometic toilet and here we have storage and there's something here as well there's also a bit of storage so you know for a vehicle I won't get inside the shower I want to make this up to you he's got a sensible sliding door and you know Right, so you're in here like that. Good. Look, you've got a bit of space here. You know, it's, it's a tiny, it's a tiny vehicle. Uh, so that's quite good. Right, let's go out. Um, here we have. Look at all that storage. Of course, this is the this this is the garage as such, but it's also being used as a wardrobe. Uh, here's the fridge. It opens both ways. So if you fancy a quick one outside, then you can uh, do so. And if you fancy a quick one inside, you can open it that way. A uh, lot of storage here uh, under the the uh, kitchen. It's also got it's got cl uh, soft clothes. Hmm. Okay, and here tiny-ish sink, two burners, hobs. Okay, and uh, a reminder that inside it's two meters wide. Lots of storage up there. 
and look the, and up there. Uh, you can hang your coat there. Uh, here, this thing here, you can see how much water's in it. Em empty, wa uh, clean water, em uh, dirty water, uh, and uh, you can see how much is in the engine battery and the habitation battery. And they can turn the uh, Truma thing on. All right, so that's one excursion. Uh, we'll have a look on this excursion. This one here is a bit different. And uh, if we can get in. No, we can't get in. It's, oh, it's probably, it's probably bust, uh, the bed. Anyway, so we'll go in, we'll go in, a, we'll go in another one. Yeah, somebody, it's, it's, it's being fixed. Uh, right, that, well, that doesn't come as any surprise. We'll go and have a look at this one and you can see what is actually being fixed. Uh, one thing here, notice it's got a garage, a uh, large, large garage on both sides. And, uh, oh, this isn't being fixed as well, is it? It might be being fixed. Let's see if we can get in here. So it's the same outer size, but this thing has got a bed up there, which uh, appears to be busting the other one. You've got this very large bench, probably uncomfortable, but it's all right if you sit squatting like I do. And here we've got this system uh, with, uh, you're either in the bed or in the shower. So the bed comes out over the shower and uh, uses all the space there. Uh, sink will move uh to get out of the way of the toilet which is supposed to do and uh, there's the toilet now having a look around here you can see we've got the bed here got a bit for the bed uh goes in like that there's your bed enormous bed in a six meter vehicle it's an enormous bed because the shower has gone the problem is moving parts moving parts break like something goes wrong. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Uh, this this is an option, of course, but uh, but they are thinking outside of the box. Oh, and that's a space for the ladder as well. So uh, that's odd. Uh, it's very unusual. It's a new vehicle, uh, and. Uh, it's also produced uh, in the Knaus version, which will be even more expensive. Uh, I know the company was Roma Home uh, in the UK, did things looking a bit like that. That's one of them, but there's another company I'm thinking, I can't remember the name of now, which I think is somewhere near Wakefield. Uh, uh, anyway, so there you have it. There is the uh, uh, <laughs> excursion, uh, new vehicle, highly unusual. A hark back to former times using the classic camper van, uh, the, the, the VW, uh, as uh, the VW camper as its base. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found that interesting. I upload every Friday, no, it's not every Friday, don't I? Every day, so I'm getting confused. Uh, I open up every day at 21.15 Central European time. And uh, so if you're interested in more sort of stuff like this, then please subscribe. I need to point out Weinsberg is a company I do not recommend. Uh, so um, uh, uh, I'm, you know, I'm a bit frightened to actually even touch things just in case they break in my hand. So uh, anyway, but hey, if they're thinking outside the box and maybe someone else will do it a better job. All the best from me in Dusseldorf.